Hi, my name is Inshika Singh. I'm an Associate Solutions Architect on the Prod Apps Builder team here at AWS. Today, I'm excited to share with you a repo our team has worked on to accelerate the adoption of a feature in Amazon Connect called Step-by-Step -Step Guides. With the release of Step-by-Step -Step Guides for the Amazon Connect Agent Workspace, companies can now present rich experiences and surface data to agents without the need to deploy infrastructure or build serverless web apps to implement custom agent desktop applications. We've created a library of samples and reusable modules to help people get started. These modules show how you can configure the different types of show view blocks and ways you can integrate step-by-step -step guides with other workflows and services. They demonstrate good design patterns for common and complex use cases and address the most common design concerns. Within the example folder are subfolders showcasing complete implementations of a step-by-step -step guide. For instance, you can see how to use step-by-step -step guides to implement post-call disposition code or schedule and review tasks using a form. Each subfolder contains a readme which provides details about the example and an in-depth implementation guide. Within the module folders are subfolders for commonly used patterns that will appear in your contact flow when using step-by-step -step guides, such as initiating a step-by-step -step guide and using step-by-step -step guides with Amazon Connect cases. Each subfolder has a readme which provides details about the pattern, why we want to use this pattern, how to use the pattern within the context of a larger contact flow, and other relevant information. Let's walk through an example on how to leverage the Lex integration module. Note that detailed instructions are in the readme. First, we are going to download the pre-built LexBot and deploy it into our management console. Now, let's go through the Lex integration flow. Here, there is a show view block. Use this block to configure UI-based workflows that you can surface to users of front-end applications. You can use this block to create step-by-step -step guides for agents who are using Amazon Connect Agent Workspace. To use this block, first select a view resource from a drop-down menu. Here we choose the list view, then map data to the different fields in the view schema. You can use the set JSON mapping option, which lets you pass in entire JSON objects. We can see the JSON object for the items in the list view. Note that to pass attributes from the LexBot, you need to call the dollar sign attribute dot slot name or intent name. To isolate step-by-step -step guides from the routing logic of the contact experience, you can use a handler flow. Let's look at this handler flow. We start integrating the earlier imported LexBot into our flow. There are detailed instructions on how to do so in the readme. Once we imported the LexBot, we will add contact attributes to the contact flow. The contact attributes are data points that are collected from the LexBot. As we can see here, we are setting the first name, last name, arriving city, departing city, and confirmation number of the user interacting with the bot. We then use another set contact attribute block. We set the value of the default flow agent UI to the flow ID from the earlier contact flow. This attribute decides what step-by-step -step guides do to show our agents when the call is routed to them. You will then be transferred to the basic queue and the call will end. Once you are done, you can attach a phone number to the handler flow and then call in using that phone number or you can test it out using the chat feature in Amazon Connect. The bot will prompt you for the customer query. This specific example is used for canceling the flight. The user will answer their first name, last name, arriving city, destination city, and confirmation number. The information will sent to an agent in the list view we chose earlier to allow the agent to see the user's information and quickly help them with their customer query. As you can see that the LexBot and the contact flows are customizable and can be tweaked to fit one's use case. I hope this helps you understand a little more about step-by-step -step guides and how you can leverage a repository to accelerate the adoption for step-by-step -step guides. To further explore this repository, I have linked the GitHub link to this QR code. You can find the aforementioned use cases and explore other modules and examples to gain further understanding of step-by-step -step guides. Thanks again for watching.